having Dutor have an adaptive skate competition in an elite level just makes me feel like a real skateboarder again. Growing up and watching the Dew Tour, it just means so much to the skateboard community. So when I was selected, it was nothing but joy and excitement, followed by instant fear and anxiety because now I'm on that level of competition with it meaning so much because it was Dew Tour. Because I am an adaptive skateboarder, I actually have a lot of stuff I have to bring and prepare just for any competition I do. What Not Impossible has created for me is a phase ray speaker and what that does, it creates a beam of sound that can be aimed directionally. So you can be skating and not hear it and the minute you pass the beam of sound, it gives you a straight shock of sound so you know you have to pop, prepare for a coping or whatever you set it up for. So having that precision at this type of competition really made it a lot easier to focus on my tricks. One thing that I rely on so much when I'm skating is actually feeling out the park, getting to walking, and with the strict practice times that I couldn't even go check out the park. So even the first day I was there, I was still stressed about uh, what the park's gonna be like. Like, what am I skating? The first day of practice, which is our second day there, we got rained out. It's wet. It's wet at the park, um, so they're drying it off. I heard some fan generators going, um, but we're just sitting, waiting. Wake up at 5 a.m. to sit and wait. In the past couple of years, being able to skate with the other adaptive skaters, we've actually become quite like a family. So anytime a skate competition happens, you get to see your fellow adaptive skaters that don't take any, like, they don't have any excuses. And so when you're around that, you don't have any excuses. And it just puts everybody at the next level when we're all together. During the actual competition, I was so focused on what I was doing that I didn't hear the audience, I didn't hear the crowd, I didn't hear the other skaters. I obviously can't see the scoreboard. So when I finally got the score, I was blown away. I had no idea that um, I skated uh, as good as I did. I also didn't know what other people were doing. So the whole time I thought other people were just killing it and I was barely hanging in there. So. Um, I, it was good because I was so focused and not trying to pay attention to um, where I was in the scoreboard. One of the best things about the whole experience was that I got to share it with my dad. Um, he's been so supportive of skateboarding since I discovered it when I was like 10 years old. He's never fully understood it, but he understood that I loved it. And to have him at the Dew Tour and him see how hard I've worked my whole life for skateboarding and to hold up a trophy on that stage, it just meant the world to me to be able to share that with him and let him know that I wouldn't be this far skateboarding if he didn't support it the way he has my whole life. If you are facing challenges and you want to progress in life and you're scared, my advice is to embrace the failure. I compare my life and in general to skateboarding because on a skateboard, all you do is fail to learn something new. And when you fail on a skateboard, you don't get mad, it's just part of the learning process. And if you take that and put it into your life and realize you're allowed to fail, 
and it's just the process of succeeding. No matter any disability you have, no matter what's going on in your life, that um, just embrace the failure, go with it, because it's only one step closer to a land or a roll away.